many artists worry that using a reference is a form of cheating or that it means you're not a true artist. But that's simply not true. Using references is a valuable tool for learning and growing. Much like using a recipe when baking a cake. References help you understand how things look, how light interacts with objects, and how to create both in a realistic and stylized art. They're essential for improving your skills and taking your art to the next level. References can transform your work from good to exceptional. They enhance your observation skills, making you more attuned to the world around you. By closely examining references, you'll notice details you might otherwise miss. Every line, curve, and shadow becomes important. This heightened awareness helps you understand light and shadow, which is crucial for adding depth and making your art appear three-dimensional and lifelike. Learning about anatomy and perspective is another benefit of using references. Whether you're you're drawing people, animals, or landscapes. References help you get proportions and angles just right, which is vital for creating believable scenes. Additionally, exploring different styles through references can inspire you to try new techniques and develop your unique artistic voice. Even history's greatest artists relied on references. Leonardo da Vinci, for example, meticulously studied human anatomy to create realistic paintings like the Mona Lisa. Michelangelo used sculpture models to plan the poses for the Sistine Chapel in the ceiling. Frida Kahlo often used mirrors to explore and express her identity and emotions in her self-portraits. These masters show that references are not shortcuts, but powerful tools that help achieve artistic greatness. It's important to differentiate between using references and copying. References guide and inspire your creativity, helping you understand form, light, and composition. They're not about making exact replicas, but about learning and interpreting. Copying, however, involves reproducing someone else's work exactly, which stifles creativity and doesn't contribute to personal growth. Also, think of references like learning a new language. You use resources like dictionaries to understand structure, vocabulary, and create your own unique sentences. Similarly, references should inspire and inform your original creations, not limit them. So next time you're working on art, don't hesitate 
to use references. Embrace them as valuable tools for learning and growth. Find photos, objects, or artworks that inspire you. Study them and use them to challenge yourself. Remember, every artist from beginners to masters can benefit from using references. Go ahead and create your masterpieces with a little help from your reference friends.